Welcome to Innovational World. Let's go. Life has a soundtrack. Control yours. Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm Eric. We're cousins. And we're back with our newest product, Go Glove. Who likes to ski? Who likes to listen to music? Who likes cold hands? Sorry. We developed a product that allows you to do both at the same time and keep your hands warm. We grew up skiing and snowboarding, and we love listening to music on the mountain. There's something special about that moment when you're cruising down the mountain and you got on your favorite song. What if you had better control of your device so you can relive that moment? Well, now you can. Go Glove is the first ever Bluetooth-enabled glove to allow you to control your music on the mountain. Control it just like this. Our team has developed working prototypes with Bluetooth LE modules and magnetic sensors inside. We decided to use a thin glove liner, that way any outer glove can be worn over top. Anyone wearing a glove and listening to me Using the Force in an X-Wing fighter, Luke Skywalker famously destroyed the Death Star. So without a doubt, the Force was with the creator of the RC X-Wing, Incom T-70 drone, a recreation of the most famous space fighter ever conceived by the human imagination. This is arguably the pinnacle achievement of Oliver C. Star Wars drones. This is actually the new X-Wing from J.J. Abrams' Star Wars reboot, The Force Awakens. Who could possibly refuse the chance to fly such a famously futuristic craft? Just watching the RC X-Wing hover, bank through steep turns, and speed away is a whole nother level of entertainment. Two propellers in front of the wings and two in the rear give this craft outstanding maneuverability. Watching a drone with such legendary design in flight, well, it's easy to imagine it gearing up for battle against a squadron of TIE fighters. So are you ready to defend humanity against the Empire? Fly the RCX wing. My name is Jacqueline Ross, and I'm the CEO and founder of Revelar. We are thrilled to announce our new product, which is the world's most discreet and non-violent solution for personal security. Our product is easy to use, non-invasive, and seamless with your life, so that you can connect with the loved ones of your choosing at the moment you need it most. How? It's simple. Our device is a very small and thin wearable clip that hides under your clothing so that no one knows that it's there. First, you attach the hidden device under your clothing. Then, open up our smartphone app, input your emergency contacts, and sync the device. Now, if you need help, all you have to do is press the hidden button, and this sends a text message with a GPS link to your loved ones. Revelar is smart. It is not a regular tracking device. It will only start to track you if and when you press that hidden button. 
at which point it'll update your location every three minutes until you're safe. I started Revelar to protect my little sister from violence, but the rural applications are endless. Sense is a simple system that tracks your sleep, monitors the environment of your bedroom, and reinvents the alarm. Sense watches for noise, light, temperature, particulates in the air, and more. With the sleep pill, your movements at night tells you how soundly you're sleeping. If you're disturbed at 3 a.m., you should be able to see if it was your partner snoring or a car alarm that went off. We all have a natural sleep cycle, but a normal alarm will wake you up regardless of when's best for you. With Sense's smart alarm, it knows how to wake you up at the right time, so you don't start the day feeling terrible. If you want to be up by 9.30, but you're already half awake at 9.15, then your alarm should know to go off then, not wait for you to fall deeper into sleep. Here at Hello, we've been heads down for quite a while now building. We're a team of designers, engineers, and operations experts who collectively have built products and services that millions of people around the world use and love. Making world-class hardware and software on their own is hard. Doing these things in concert together obviously it becomes even more complex. That's why we've assembled a team of the best people to do just that. With the rise of wearables, we've seen that people clearly care about their sleep. But to us, it felt so unnatural to be worrying about putting something on, charging it, remembering to press buttons. We believe that technology needs to disappear. It didn't make sense to us that we have been told to put something on just as we get into bed. Everything with sense is designed to fade away. You should simply be able to just sleep. When designing sense, we didn't want to create something that looked like just another piece of technology. That's easy to do. It's much harder to design a device that feels at home sitting beside your bed every day. It should look like an object that you'd be happy to have there almost regardless of its purpose. For something so natural as sleep, we wanted to design something that felt organic. The spherical form and nest-like structure helped to keep things both simple and strong. To get to where we are today, we've iterated literally hundreds of times. By being able to 3D print and laser cut our way out of almost anything, we've settled on a design that's beautiful and one that also functions perfectly with all the sensors we have inside. Fitting so much inside such a small space is pretty hard. When you look at what goes inside Sense, engineering everything to fit is a challenge, but it's fun. It's like a beautiful puzzle fitting together perfectly to become strong, sturdy, and to protect everything inside. Objects shouldn't just be designed to look good. They should be designed to last. That's what building things for people is about. With Sense and the Sleep Pill, we wanted things to stand the test of real life. And we I love to drink coffee in the morning. I have to have it when I wake up. But I don't like carrying around a big travel mug, and I don't like using all these disposable coffee cups. Sojo is the answer. It's a cup for coffee, for tea, for any beverage, and it collapses into a little disc that's completely sealed. So you can put it away in your bag, a backpack, your pocket, and take it out again to use later. A couple years ago, I was sitting with some friends having coffee, and we had this idea. A few days later, they sent me these 2D drawings, and from there, we kind of just went. I knew that we could make this thing. We made it a point to keep the design simple. Three main parts are made from food-grade materials. You can easily take them apart and wash them in the dishwasher or by hand, and when they're put back together, they create a liquid-tight seal. So many people have asked me, how does this product not exist already? Well, it should exist. And with your help to fund our first production run, it will exist. We think you're really gonna like this product. Save some space, help the planet, have more fun with your cup. Thank you for your help. If everybody in the car keep alive, make it hot, don't stop, y'all. To the beach, Rob, it's all right now. We used to live in the same house, in the same village. And today, 
many of us are not even living in the same time zone. Hi, I'm David Lees, founder of Story Home. If you're like us, you want to be closer to family, but find yourself living too far away. Even when nearby, our modern life doesn't allow us a lot of quality time outside of our daily routine. Our kids are losing that connection to their grandparents. Forever, these stories are lost. That's why we created Story Home, a simple and addictive way for families to share great stories with each other. Story Home is so easy. You plug it in, and it will help your grandparents tell a first story. It will automatically send these stories to another device in the bedroom of the grandkids. Before bed, it glows. The kids can pick it up and listen to the grandparents' voice. Sarah, this is Grandma, and I thought I'd like to tell you a little bit about... Um, I lived at that time in, in Africa, which some of you have visited, some have not. No, no men, no labor, no class of any kind. Softly, she said to me, only a true princess could have called fairies to save me. All of your stories get stored on the Story Home Cloud where you can edit and organize them. Your extended family can also connect to the stories on their smartphone or computer. Got nothing to say? Answer one of a thousand life questions. Read a book. Answer a question from your family. Or just tell your own tale. Even use the app to wish your kid a good night when you're away on a business trip. It's safe for kids, as there's no Wi-Fi when off the base station. I just had my 40th birthday, and there my six-month-old kid met his grandfather for the first time, who's living six time zones away. We think this is important. My name's Dustin Sell, and I build coffee makers. So I think it all really started. It was really out of frustration. One morning I woke up, my coffee maker died. There was coffee everywhere. So I looked for a coffee maker that could brew the caliber of coffee that you'd find at a fine coffee house. You know, I came across, just by chance, this thing called a coffee refractometer. What it does is it allows you to take a look at the amount of coffee extracted from the grounds. I started testing all these various coffee makers. As it turns out, a lot of the coffee makers that are out there weren't even on the chart of what's considered acceptable coffee. I think it's kind of sad where the industry is going, making it cheap, quick, fast, easy. And screw the landfills, right? We're going to dump a bunch of plastic in the landfills. I just kind of realized that a single cup coffee maker that brews what you would get from a handcrafted pour over or a coffee house just doesn't exist. So I had this crazy idea of just build it. <laughs> and I started building what looked like science experiments about the size of my kitchen table. Tubes and wires and motors strewn all over. Left my job and brought in some outside help, some of the best software engineers, mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, water quality experts to help me bring this idea to life. So fast forward a couple years, version two was done, create a Kickstarter campaign, it went incredibly well. The response was overwhelming. A lot of people could latch on to great coffee when it looked like it was going to be successful. I was getting ready to sign on the dotted line. The numbers just weren't adding up. So you're sitting there and you're looking at, at all this money and, and you could just let it come in. But as it turns out, I would have needed a lot more to bring it to production. Yeah, so I canceled the campaign. It never crossed my mind that this is the end. You know, I, I still had it in me and uh, that passion was still there. I, I lost sight over time that the ultimate goal was making it easy for everyone to experience the way coffee should be brewed. Now I had focus. I started all over. Make it simple. Forget version one, version two. I went back to the garage. Drawing, building, designing, modeling, reiterating over and over again. Make it good, make it simple, make it affordable. I wanted to strip away everything that's not needed. More drawing, more designing, more building, more prototyping. And the dust settled, and there it was. You know, some people, you know, would think it's crazy to, to quit your job and, and pursue a passion that you don't know if it's going to work out or not. As crazy as it sounds, I would rather pour my heart and soul into this and have it fail than to be 80 and wonder what if. 
great coffee when it's brewed right, whether it's that rare quiet moment that you have alone before the world wakes up, or whether it's over a conversation with those that you care about. It has the ability to, to elevate you know, so many moments, and that's what the Brubello is all about. It's clean, it's simple, it's fast, and it brews a damn good cup of coffee. My name is Dustin Sell, and I build coffee makers.